Today we'll be reviewing the Epoch Brainwave Interface by Emotive. If you're unfamiliar with the device, it is uh, designed to allow you to man manipulate anything that you see on your computer screen using only your brain waves. So let's dive right in. This first interface you see here reads the input from the sensors that are located on the device and are attached to the scalp. Here you can see the readings on each individual sensor. Across various users, we've had different experiences. Some people have had all green sensors, some have not, um, and this doesn't really seem to affect the operability of the device drastically. But moving on, we have the second tab, which uh, detects the brain waves, which are caused by various facial expressions. Then we have a display which shows what kind of emotions the user is currently experiencing, happiness, indifference, etc. This is followed by a tool which allows you to actually get down into the nitty gritty of the operations. Here we have the ability to train yourself in doing various things to the box floating in the middle of the black square. Here we have it already trained to allow us to push the object and now we'll try to set it up so that you can pull the object. Each individual action that you train it in requires eight seconds for you to think about doing the action and then it actually lets you perform it. As we are doing here. Now we can try to train it to drop the device. Again, the eight second period in which you're trying to think about the box being dropped. can actually try to do it. There it goes. The bar that you see going up and down on the left is the actual brainwave activity that it's detecting. Here we're trying to pull and drop simultaneously. Uh, one other neat feature that the software suite comes with is uh, interactive game. So we can see how this would perform in a, in a game environment and we'll show that to you right now. So here's our game world. It's not exactly cutting edge, but for now it will it will have to do. Here we're controlling using WSD and the mouse for movement and looking around, so that's not using the brain waves. But there are certain elements that we will be able to manipulate. The blue orb with the tail on it is our guide that we need to follow and here this first exercise is trying to get rid of these spheres by clenching your teeth and there they go again this is the the first tab as you will call the first tab allowed you to it detected uh, different facial expressions and this is one of the applications of that clenching your teeth and making the orb fly away. Uh, moving on, we have our second guide, which is going to allow us to, I believe, levitate this rock. So now he's saying, concentrate on what I'm doing and try to emulate me. So first he's going he's gonna to show us the rock going up. There it goes. And now he's telling us to concentrate on the same action and try to perform it just like we saw it. And he's saying if you can't make it happen, don't worry about it. Just keep trying. Uh, this is probably the part of the game where it, it's trying to learn your brainwaves so it can perform what it's it's supposed to do. So 
So here we're still trying to levitate the rock. And it's saying, don't worry if you can't do it. Oh, there it goes. Kind of drastic jump, but I guess we, we got it. So moving along the path, following our blue sphere, we're going to try to rebuild this bridge We're using the same technique. And, and again, this part is done with the brain waves, envisioning the bridge going up, and we, we made it happen. And here he's telling us about I guess the, an ancient hero that was able to lift mountains, so I guess that's what we're going to be trying to do here. So he's telling us to concentrate on the mountain in the background, and so if we can make it levitate just like in the rock example. And it looks like we got it. That's pretty quick. And I guess we must have released some sort of spirits with those blue spheres floating up. And now our next exercise here. He's gonna tell he's telling us to try to bend this tree. Like so. This is not us, this is him demonstrating. So this is very similar to that first exercise where we watch him do it and now we envision the same thing. See if we can make it happen. He's telling us keep trying. If you can't get it at first, keep trying. And there we go. Looks like we got it. And that was basically it. The Epoch from Emotive should be available for about $300 in most markets. Thanks for watching.